What's up guys, welcome to my 8th tutorial in After Effects and in this tutorial we're going to be going over rotation. So the first thing we need is an object and instead of Sammy the Sausage we've been using in the last tutorial I'm going to go with a, a new file I made. Uh, this guy right here, this is Charlie the Chupacabra and we're going to be teaching him how to rotate today. Now when I'm working with these images, don't get upset that your images may not be is advanced or professional looking as mine because I've been working with Photoshop for many years so that's why my images look awesome so now that we have Charlie in the middle of the screen let's go ahead and uh, shrink him a bit and uh, just put him right in the middle of the screen and as you can see uh, he automatically pops up in our composition panel go ahead and select the layer Charlie or whatever uh, you named your object and press R. R is going to bring up rotation and once you have this brought up you can go ahead and click your stopwatch this is going to let you edit keyframes. So rotation is a lot like any other animating um, type where you can scrub your values and have keyframes so let's go ahead and do that right now. The first keyframe we're going to set to zero because we don't want them rotating yet and let's go ahead and move this to about three seconds and let's go ahead and scrub our rotation to about 250 degrees now as you can see there are two values right here the first value is how many times you want them to do a 360 degree spin and the second one is like fine tuning alright so you want them to do 0 250 degrees if you want them to do three spins then you could um, edit this little number right here to make it go three so this would pretty much be like three and seventy five percent but I just want them to do a basic um, spin right now so and another thing if you scrubbed it all the way past three hundred and sixty degrees you notice that the little uh, how many times automatically adjusted past that so take note of that so right now we have Charlie Charlie rotating a full 360 degrees plus an additional 70 degrees so let's go ahead back to home and see how that looks and there you have a basic rotation and again if you want to change the number of times you rotates let's uh, make them spin a bunch right here let have them spin 19 times with uh, an additional 70 degrees. Move that back. Actually, forgot I had that keyframe. Have them spin about 17 times. And let's watch them uh, spin. Ah, Chupacabra, Charlie! And there you have it. So, another thing that I wanted to go over. Let me delete this keyframe is there are two different ways you can spin you can spin on the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis and to bring those up um... let me move back to my home keyframe to bring those up you need to click this little checkbox under your square what this square is is it lets you open up 3d rotation to rotate on all axes or axes whatever they're called and just by uh watching this there the best way to explain what the x-axis is and what the y and z-axis is is just to watch my animation the x-axis as you can see that'll spin it on the x-axis now the x-axis is actually the one going left to right so when it spins on the x-axis it actually looks like it's flipping up and down so anytime you wanna turn your object up or down you need to spin it on the y or uh, excuse me the x-axis now the Y axis is the axis that goes up and down. So whenever we rotate that, you can see it looks like it's spinning either left or right. And the Z axis, uh, this is what one we edited the last time. This is just going to make it spin like in circles. So anytime you want to spin that, just scrub it to the right. And anytime you want to spin it in the opposite direction, just scrub it to the left. So, and you edit all of these axes just like any other 
or just like the basic Z rotation just make your keyframes and have it rotate over time so that my friends is how you um, rotate objects in After Effects again if you want to rotate on different axes or axes than the Z axis then make sure your little cube is checked and that's how you bring that up and also make sure your stopwatch is checked if you want to animate keyframes so once you learn how to um, rotate objects and also 3D rotation you're ready to move on to my next tutorial so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time